Here we are, special Halloween edition, although it's not quite Halloween yet, of trying something new. Dun, dun, dun. We are in Greece still, and today we are going to have a Serenetta Finger, which is milk chocolate coated wafer with cocoa cream filling. Would you like to read us a trivia question about Greece mm -hmm. while I'm opening this? What? Hermione, put your put your hair back on. No. Which one are we on? Number five, I believe. Oh. The ancient Greeks did not have a word for laughter, blue, weather, or happiness. Um, weather. Who knows? Who knows? Let me see. Blue. Really? That's weird because blue was number, I mean, letter B. B for blue? <laughs> Alright, uh, let's try this chocolate wafer. You pick. You pick. I didn't read about it. Mm. That was good. Oops. Don't want to see the answers to the trivia question. <laughs> no, Daddy, no cheating. No cheating. Obsessed with wafers? Seems like there's a lot of wafers in the yum boxes. Are we obsessed with them? No? Just the chocolate? Yeah. Well, they sure are. We try them practically everywhere we go. But this month, we're even more excited than usual because Greece is where wafers were invented. How exciting. Ancient Greeks first started cooking up the treats in 146 BC. They would pour batter between two hot plates attached to wooden sticks. Think of them as ancient waffle irons. Cook the wafers to perfection and then top them with herbs and cheese. Fast forward 2,000 years to 1970 when Greek company Totus Bingo created their flagship product. Pencil. You can't use your wand? Flagship product, the Serenata wafer. This rich chocolate take on the millennia-old tradition quickly became a household name across modern Greece. <laughs> With four crispy wafers slathered in cocoa cream, coated in rich chocolate, and I, I don't even know what I'm reading anymore. I'm too distracted by your magic trick. Graduating class of ancient Greece. <coughs> Thespis. Thes Th Thesbis. The actor. Homer. Plato. Alexander the Great. Euclid. Euclid. Did you mark it already? Yes. What did you mark yours as? Four. What? It wasn't that good. Yes, it was. Really? It's better than the chocolate cookie. That's true. On the chocolate cookie, we gave three. All right. Four it is. Can we do the chips now? Can we do the chips now? Oregano chips. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We need a picture of that. Do you think she'll stay there? Yes, she will. She's very photogenic. If I got up and walked over there, do you think she would... <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh 
Oh, we got, I got to show everybody on the video. I don't know if you can see that. Her head is <laughs> like in Hero's leg. In his hip. So <laughs> her head is resting on her, his back leg. <laughs> no, right. Hero, move. It's all right. It's good. To, we got a picture of it. I'll send it to you. All right. So, would you like to read us an, another trivia <laughs> question? The word tragedy derives from the Greek phrase sad room, goat song, three tears, or raven call. I'm going to say sad room. That makes the most sense. How, how's the oregano chip? Huh? The oregano chip? You should have had before the wafer because it's not as good. Goat as song. Goat song. Oh, I'm getting them all wrong. Uh, not all. I got a couple of them right, didn't I? I thought these were gonna be better. You think these are better than the wafer? No, I said I thought these were going to be better tasting than they I are. think the I think the next one will be better. What is that? Pizza flavored bread chips. These taste like. I don't know. They're like light chips. This is a boring episode. I'm very sorry. My apologies. I hope my Marvin the Martian makes up for it. <clears throat> So, Aristotle, ever met someone that seems to be good at everything? Imagine that person times a billion, and you've got Aristotle. During his 62-year lifespan, Aristotle earned himself the title the father of Western philosophy by writing in detail about countless subjects, physics, biology, zoology, metaphysic, metaphysics, Logic, ethics, poetry, theater, music, psychology, politics, and economics, just to name a few. Oh, and in his free time, he tutored a little-known dude named Alexander the Great. So there you go, a little bit of history mixed in with your food. How would you like to rate these? What? Two and a half. They're better than the chocolate cookie. Well, chocolate cookie was just a regular cookie. I'll give them the same thing. And these are chips that we've never tasted before. You keep dropping crumbs in your lap. I'd say they're equal to the chocolate chip cookie. You okay with that? All right. Three stars it is. They're not bad. They're not great. At least they're actual potato chips this time. The last one that were called chips, they were just, what were they? They were wheat chips or something, not potato chips. All right, so that does it for today's edition of Trying Something New. Signing off, Marvin the Martian. And <laughs> just drape it on top of your head. <laughs> quick, quick, quick. There we are. There she is. Hermione Granger. House Gryffindor. With that, you can say goodbye. Eggs to Ramanus. <laughs>